Agrarian Skies. My name is Ryla, and it has been several weeks since I last played. I actually did a bunch of episodes all at the same time, and they've been airing. And I have not been playing during that time because I have joined the Rack server uh, and have been playing on the modded Rack Pack. I'm having a ton of fun with that and with the guys. Um, so we are back after a, a hiatus, uh, so to speak, although you may not have noticed it was a hiatus because, like I said, everything was being uploaded. Um, but I am trying to get my bearings, <laughs> see kind of where we left off, uh, and uploading the videos. I did remember one thing. Uh, we started working on a quest, and I didn't do something very, very simple to finish that quest up, and that was to submit a bucket of sludge. So we are going to get the quest book, if I can remember where I put it. I know it's somewhere. Probably here, maybe? Yes, totally there. It was going to be the last place I looked, but I forgot that was there, actually. Okay, ooh, it has us to start again. And where was the bucket of sludge? Does anybody <laughs> remember? Like I said, it's been a while since I've played. Oh, we still need the massive storage, which I think requires a ender pearl, which I think we still need. Uh, that's definitely something we're going to have to go through. Don't think it was bees and trees. I know it wasn't Hell's Kitchen. Was it learning the sky block? Was that it? No. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Sludge bucket. Okay. Excellent. So we can submit that. I think that should be everything we need for this particular one. So we can finish that up. Uh, I figured that would be a good way to start an episode would be by completing, uh, completing a thing, completing a quest. I heard a noise, but I think that might have been the harvester. Uh, in fact, in preparation of that, I went ahead and switched up this a little bit because I didn't have any sludge because our little sludge boiler here was just taking it up uh, and it was using it all up for making of these goodies. Um, sand and clay and salt and whatnot. So I went ahead and I created a bucket here uh, just kind of as an interim. So we can grab our bucket of sludge, we can go ahead and activate that to pull, and then turn on the lever, and that should empty that out. Maybe? Maybe not? Oh, I don't think it actually activated it. The whole reason why I chose the open blocks is because I thought I would activate, but I suppose not. Um, let's move this stuff around. And I guess if we put it, let's put it there. This is not going to be the prettiest setup. Uh, that is one thing I want to do at some point, is switch up the setup and make it look a little, little bit nicer. There we go. All gone. Okay. So that way if we ever have an occasion to need more sludge, we can get more sludge and it's not an issue. Uh, let's go back upstairs so we can submit this. I think we still have the bees, if I believe. Yes, there's a bee thing there. Um, we need to get going on those. I figured that would be kind of a, an easy intro to get into since I do know the bees fairly well. Not not incredibly well. I'm not definitely not an expert, but I'm not I'm not a noob either. Uh, so let's go ahead and submit this sludge bucket. Manual submit. And we get to pick a reward. Uh, bean seeds, tomato seeds, regular seeds. We have all three of these already. We do not have ender lily seeds, which is definitely something I want. Uh, flux infused sickle. I don't know what that is, but we'll get one of those. Yay, and the happy little music. I forgot about the happy little music. So we have our flux infused sickle. I know the sickle is to harvest stuff. For the most part we've got a lot of it automated. Uh, over there we have the blackberries, we have the lettuce, and we have tomatoes. And that is for the farming, the Hell's Kitchen, where you have to submit tons of stuff. Uh, so yeah, toast and tomatoes. Lettuce, tomato, hearty breakfast. Yeah, that's lettuce, tomato, and a hearty breakfast. Those are three different items. Spaghetti, meatballs, leafy fish sandwich, a bacon, bacon mushroom, burger, I was trying to combine bacon and mushroom into one word. It is not one word. It is two separate. Uh, vinegar and then uh, toast. Yeah, toast. Okay. Uh, so I don't think we'll use... Well, we might, ooh, silk touch five. This is interesting. Why does it have silk touch five on it? And can we take it off? That would be good. Okay, let's go ahead and put our heart here. I believe this is where we stash hearts. You know what, let's go ahead and combine these two hearts and combine this one with this one just to make a little bit more room. So like so, and then we can go ahead and consume a heart. Consume to get an extra life. This is a good one. Yay! An even dozen. Even dozen lives are nice. Uh, especially considering at some point we're going to have to go to the nether. 
Uh, we don't necessarily have to, but it's probably a good idea. Now let's go ahead and get these ender pearls going. Uh, these ender lilies set up because we are in desperate need of ender pearls. Uh, the deep space unit, what was it? Deep space unit? Am I, I'm thinking I'm set on the TV show, I suppose. Let's see. Where was for the hoarding, right? The deep storage, massive storage. That's what we're looking for. The massive storage unit, if I remember correctly, oops, requires several ender pearls or at least one ender pearl, right? Massive storage. Maybe it is a deep storage. Maybe the thing is wrong. Yeah, there it is. That's what we want. Deep storage unit. Uh, requires, oh yeah, the Tesseract frame with the reinforced strong box. The strong boxes are the easy thing. Okay. It's this guy. We need the resident ender, which is you melt down ender pearls to get resident ender. Uh, so we are definitely going to need ourselves some of that. Uh, some Lots of ender pearls. And since we have such rotten luck with endermen. Oh, I forgot I made that. I forgot I had that. All kinds of stuff that I forgot I had. Interesting. We're going to have to, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to have to go through it later. Uh, we're going to grab some glowstone. Like so. We only need five. Uh, ender lilies do grow on dirt. And I think they grow on sand as well, but they grow best on end stone. And luckily, with the X Nilo, you can make uh, end stone fairly easily, which is what we're going to do real quick. We're going to go upstairs, or, or you know what, we'll do it right here, because I can reach. Can I reach? Yes, I can reach. I can totally reach. And you take glowstone, and you right-click on glowstone, and you get endstone. So, yeah, let's do that again, because I didn't explain it very well. Not that it's difficult. Grab a bucket of lava, dump it in a stone barrel, right-click with a piece of glowstone, and right-click it to get out, and you have yourself some endstone. So we're just going to do this oh, two more times after I grab that piece. Like so, like so, like so. So the ender lilies will grow much faster on the end stone than they would have regularly on just soil. So we need we need ender lilies pretty fast. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this down here instead of having those. And we could just you know let's put it in front of the window since we're gonna we're gonna make it look nice. This will be pretty, nice and pretty. We don't need you anymore. You can go away, bucket. You are done. And now I don't know if you can get more ender lily seeds from ender lily seed plants. I don't know if that's the case, because if we can, we'll get three more and put those right there, and we'll have a nice little, a nice little indoor garden. In fact, just because I can, I'm actually going to make some trapdoors. Make it look pretty. Oh, you know what? Do we need trapdoors? We have micro blocks. Okay. You know what? No. no. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let's do this. Sorry, I'm, I'm making stuff pretty. I'm pretty fine. Got to purtify everything. Let's do a couple of these. Actually, let's do three. Three sets. Three sets of these. So, like so. Can I not? There we go. Like so. Like so. That should be enough, right? Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. My little window box. We just made ourselves a window box. Now, do I have a... a do I have a saw already? Because we can make micro blocks, which are awesome. I don't think I have one. Stone saw, iron saw, diamond saw. Let's stick with the iron saw. Okay, so we need, I need cobblestone. How do I not have cobblestone on me? This is interesting. All right, maybe I guess I guess I put it all in here. So let's get some cobblestone. Half a stack should do it. And let's get some iron. And I finally figured out how to turn that R off so my stuff isn't sorting anymore. Uh, that's actually thanks to my friend Froglegged from my uh, from the rack server. He very kindly helped me and showed me how to turn that off. And I am forever grateful because that annoyed the heck out of me. Okay, so we have ourselves a saw. Let's put this up because we don't need... Okay, well, we can't put that up. I guess we can... Miscellaneous useful. That counts as miscellaneous useful totally. Uh, so let's go ahead and just cut up some planks because we can. So the whole reason why you do anything in this game is because you can. Why not? Uh, ooh. Oh, no, no, no. Bad. In fact, I think this needs to be thinner. Okay, let's try. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Okay. So let's try this again. I really only need two, but there we go. One and two. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but I like it. All right. All right. 
Uh, I could always do this on top. Let's do that. No, 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 let's not. Let's not. I'm not going to get too much. Maybe I'll do that off camera, but I'm not going to subject y'all to a ton of that. Okay. Throw this stuff away. We don't need that right now. I need a wither uh, skeleton bone so I can do these. Make that from Tigger's Construct. Get myself another extra heart. Um, oh, I forgot the hunger overhaul thing. There we go. Three potatoes just to get full up, which is crazy. It's cray cray. Uh, so while these are growing, still at 0%, grow faster, much faster. We're going to go ahead and see what the next one was on learning to sky block, because I think we may have already done it. Expanding the farms, upgrade to tin and get a precision sledgehammer. Uh, the default farm size is 3x3. Three three. Uh, the default farm size of 3x3 three three may feel a bit small. Upgrading the size of the farm will be needed for optimal production of resources on the map. If you want to see the area covered by an MFR machine, hold a hammer in your hand. Oh, that is interesting. Uh, the hammer blah, 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 blah. the hammer can also be used to rotate MFR machines and to pick the machine up while retaining the energy inside the machine. I had no idea. I did not know that at all. Make sure you upgrade your harvesters and planters the same way. Uh, okay, so we have already gotten the harvester and the planter. Uh, and in fact, they both have upgrades because uh, I have done these before, so I, I know what I'm doing in that regard. Despite the fact that I did not know you could hit it with a sledgehammer, which is very interesting. And you can hit it with the sledgehammer to not break it, which to me seems kind of backwards, but that's cool. That's cool. Uh, we have a platinum upgrade. We've got a very nice upgrade. In fact, I think this is the maximum upgrade you can have. So we are required to submit one tin upgrade and one precision sledgehammer, and that will be nothing for us because that's just super easy. In fact, I can do that without having to look up the recipe. Uh, we are just going to make those right quick. The precision hammer, I'm going to have to look up the recipe because I don't actually know that one. Uh, do we have any rubber? Uh, no, but I know I was cooking some over here somewhere. There you are. So we need rubber. We need two redstone. We need a gold nugget, which we have already. Excellent. And we need a uh, tin. Tin, tin, tin. Rin, tin, tin. One, two, three, tin. Excellent. Let's look up the precision sledgehammer real quick. See what we need for that one. Uh, hammer. Let's just do that. Precision hammer right there. Uh, we need rubber sheets. That's interesting. A hammer made out of rubber. Okay. That's cool. I know that uh, that does that is a thing. I've seen them before. Okay, so let's look at plastic. Oh, and we have two and we need three, but let's just make some real quick cuz that's just plastic here like so. And there we go. Easy enough. Okay. So let's make the sledgehammer like so and like so. One, two, three. Oh, and we got our bucket back after we submitted the sludge. That's good. I didn't even notice that. Okay. And then we'll make our upgrade, our tin upgrade that we don't actually need, but we'll make it anyway. Like so, like so. And there we go. Okay, let's submit those. Uh, submit. Oh, we just needed to craft. Oh, and we needed to pick a reward. Uh, let's, let's pick the third one. Claim. Yay, happy little music. Okay, and actually it looks like we can get another heart because we had another quarter. Let's go ahead and add those together because why not? We'll go for lucky number 13. 13 lives. There we go. Hopefully that is... I don't come to eat those words. Uh, we don't actually need these tools. Uh, at least not the upgrade. You know, let's go ahead and try to contain everything within the same area. In fact, let's grab that. This, I guess this will be my bee chest. But where I got the bees, I'm not sure. Modest and... Meadows. Maybe I got those. I forgot. I forgot where I got those. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Uh, the sledgehammer we don't need right away, so we'll throw that there. Let's see what we got in the bag. And actually, let's put a flux with the silk touch five, which is why you need silk touch five. I don't know. Lettuce seeds, which we already have. So, is there a spot where we can store these? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Excellent. Let's go ahead and put the rubber up. And plastic sheets up. We also got a safari net. It is a mystery. I think these have stuff in them. Because didn't we have, don't we have more safari nets? Yeah, it's a mystery safari nets. I don't know what's in them. I'm tempted to find out. I'm very, very curious. I mean, it could be, you know, something very useful like maybe a blaze. But it could be something horrible like a wither. Uh, and we are, I just, I'm not even going to, yeah, I don't, withers are bad. We don't want withers. 
Um, okay, so learning the sky block. Let's see what the next one is. We must go deeper. Uh, this requires... The nether has many ores and other resources you can collect. It is, however, inhabited by many unsavory characters. Your friendly map creator recommends large number of potions if you plan to head into the depths. Uh, you really should visit at least once to fully experience the joys of this map. Uh, an angry doll will spawn a blaze if you right-click a stone barrel of lava while holding the doll. Okay. So, we need to make an auto-brewer. Let's see how we make an auto-brewer. Automobile. Auto-brewer. Auto-brewer. There we are. Okay. So we need a brew stand, which requires a blaze, which we need to make the doll, the angry doll. What do we do? What do we need to make an angry doll? Glowstone, nether wart, a precious doll. Okay. We can do that. Uh, let's see, do we have any emeralds? How many emeralds do we have compared to how many diamonds? I think we have more emeralds than diamonds now, which is a very happy place to be. Do we have any porcelain? No. But we do have clay. So we can grab five pieces of clay. Five. Okay. And then we need, what else did we need? We needed glowstone, a couple of things of glowstone. Um, did we need redstone? One redstone. We needed four blaze powder. One, two, three, four. We needed five bone meal to make the porcelain clay. And we needed one nether wart. Okay, do we, I know we have nether wart somewhere. 115 nether wart. That's not bad. Okay, so we're going to first move over here and make porcelain clay. Excellent. Oh, all of that. Give me, give me all of that. And then put them together like so with an emerald like so. And then here, here, and here. Okay, and then to spawn a blaze, we need the barrel. I should probably just leave this barrel out here, correct? Barrel of this. We're actually going to put him over here because this is more contained. This is still all open, and I don't want him flying too far away. Because uh, if he flies too far away, I'm not going to. I'm going to have to hit him with a bow and arrow, and I don't want to lose the blaze rod uh, potentially into the void. Okay, so here we go. Let's click. And then now await. I learned with the Enderman. You have to kind of give it time. And they just suddenly appear and scare the crap out of me. Any minute now. I like the little animation with the jumping embers. That's very nice. That's a nice animation. Okay. Alright. Any time now. I'm waiting. Come on. Really? Come on. I feel like you're taking longer than the Enderman, and that's saying something. Don't make me put you on my hit list. Well, you're already on my hit list, but don't make me put you on my hit list. Like, I hate Enderman. Come on. No. You will spawn. There we go. Excellent. Let's get in there. Ha ha. That was... Relatively painless, I have to say. Okay. All right. That, I can handle that. That is excellent. So we have ourselves a brew stand. Fantastic. And to then do that, we make the brewer, the auto brewer. Auto brewer, which needs three of those. One of those, more plastic. Wow. Okay. Smooth stone with lots of redstone. So let's actually get some, get some cobble cooking up here. Grab some more cobble because it's always good to have it on us. We'll grab some redstone. Let's just grab half a stack. Uh, what else did we need? We needed gold. Wow, we need more gold. Oh, never mind. I was going to say we need more gold, but no, no, we're good. Uh, in fact, we can craft more. Let's say, let's do more ingots, please. Thank you. Okay. It takes, it knows to take the block of gold and create it like that. Or it should. I don't know what the holdup is. Okay, what else did we need? Uh, iron and glass and rubber or plastic excuse me plastic so get those three we'll need four more because we'll need one more sheet of plastic and we needed iron and glass and that should be everything we need so grab some iron we need four of those and some glass I love MRE systems especially when you can actually use the R uh, the letter R and it doesn't rearrange it's fantastic Okay, grab some of those. Excellent. So we need three of these. One, two, three. Let's put a fourth one. One, two, three. One, two, 
three, three of those, and then we need iron. I think it goes like this, right? I've only made these a gazillion times. You think I would have it memorized by now, which apparently I do, which is excellent. Oh, and then we needed one more of these. There we go. And then we can click like so. Oh, that's right. We needed that. One, two. Uh, oh, let's get out of that real quick so we can make these. I need some more of those. Two of those, like so. And then I think it was one, two, one, two with smooth stone, correct? No. What are we missing? These guys, the redstone repeater. Smooth stone. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, it was the other way around. So we need two more of these. Okay, one, two. Excellent. And then we go like that. Okay. I got it now. One, two. That makes sense. It looks more like the picture that way. So two of those. All right. And then we question this so we can learn to make these. Auto Brewer. Automobile. I don't know why I keep saying that. Well, I do know why I'm quoting a movie. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Awesome. We did three tasks. This is excellent for coming right back, getting back on the saddle, so to speak. Uh, pick the first one, claim my reward. Fantastic. What did we get? We got bottles of healing and regen, which will probably come in handy if we do decide to go to the nether. And we got amaranth stairs, which is cool. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do with them, but we'll put them in our miscellaneous blocks chest, which is now full of stuffs. Um, miscellaneous useful, we'll throw this stuff in. We have a half a heart, which we're already full of stuff. Uh, let's put that there. And we'll put that there. Okay, excellent. We need to eat. And I think this is actually going to be it for this episode, because we got a lot done, actually, which is kind of awesome. I'm actually a little surprised we got as much done as we did. Let's put the blaze rod in there, and the smooth stone, and the gold. So, fantastic. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching. My name is Ryla, and I will see you next time. Or, really, talk to you later. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye.